Do we have some children who would like to join me up here today? And those online, I wish you were here with us, but since you're watching, you're going to need to pay special attention. Hi. <laughs> Come on up. <clears throat> so, uh, my name is David Greenlee. I'm the Minister of Faith Formation here at Trinity Lutheran Church and Schools. And I haven't been up here uh, for a while, but um, I am excited to be with you today. And anybody have any idea what this might be? Yeah, a jug of water. In the hot summertime, do you guys ever like a cold drink of water yeah yeah it's a good thing this is very cold and i have actually some cups here <clears throat> anybody want to try my water anybody brave enough oh we have several takers here don't don't drink it yet Some of the youth from the church are going to be going over to Spokane, Washington. And okay, well, usually people hear me, but yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah. You wanted water? No. Anybody else? Okay, that's your water. So the <laughs> the. Uh, some of the teenagers are going over to Spokane, and they're going to be working with agencies and ministries that um, work with the homeless and the hungry and uh, people in transitional housing, and they're going to be learning a whole lot about it. And one of the ministries that they're going to go to is a ministry named after what you just heard in the gospel and what you have in your hand, cup of cool water, and it's on my shirt too. See that? Cup of cool water. This was a ministry started 28 years ago by a uh, young man who kept watching all these homeless teens on the street uh, wandering around, and he just thought, God loves them. What can I do? So he started putting things in his trunk and going down to the streets and handing things out and having conversations, and it built and built into now what is a ministry in Spokane, Cup of Cool Water, and it's an outreach to teens on the street that live under the bridges and around the Spokane area. Yes, it's on my shirt. And when those when kids go into Cup of Cool Water, downtown Seattle, or uh, Spokane, I should say, um, they get some duct tape to put their name on it so that they can put their duct tape on their bags that can't go in when they go into the center and so that they can also wear their name tags. So duct tape is their name tag, and that's why their shirt has water splashed on a duct tape symbol. And they reach out to kids on the street seven days a week. <clears throat> we're hoping when we're over there that we'll get to clean the center and do some work because kids come there, sometimes they come there just to cool off or get a hot meal, but they can get a haircut, they can talk to somebody, because um, you don't have money to get haircuts when you live on the street. They can get, um, do their laundry and they can get a shower um, because they don't have any place to live. Now there is a youth shelter in town but it's usually filled unless during the cold months and so there's not enough places and so these kids have a warming shelter. Well the cup of cool water you guys can taste it now. It's safe. Cup of Cool Water was their way of saying, we want to welcome everybody. Everybody is welcomed and served at 
cup of cool water. And so they don't just wait in their building for the kids, they go out onto the streets to talk to the kids and to invite them in and to welcome them because that's what the whole ministry is about. Does it taste weird? Oh, okay. <laughs> you made a funny face and it better be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's to welcome the teens of Spokane that don't have a mom and dad there to take care of them, that don't have a place to rest and they have a place. They've started job training now for these kids also, and um, they help kids be able to build their own bike so they have a bike to get around. Can you imagine that? Because for a, a teen to have a bike gives them the chance to be able to go wherever they need to go and gives them a lot more job opportunities. Well, in today's passage, Jesus was talking about welcoming people with something as simple as a cup of cool water. Who could you welcome with something really simple in your life? Who could you be welcoming to with just a simple gesture? Anybody you can think of? Do you have any kids in your neighborhood maybe that you don't know well that you could be kind to and welcome? Maybe, maybe somebody that you're involved with in a sport or music lessons or something that you do? Or maybe it's just the person that you see on the street. Did you know that when kids smile, adults love it? Smile at them. Watch their faces. Go ahead, smile at them. <laughs> How we can be welcoming, it doesn't take big gestures, but it takes an open heart and a receptiveness. And the teens this next week, while we're over in Spokane for eight days, are gonna to get to interact with kids that are in transitional housing as well as teens and shelters and get to be involved at food banks and um, they're gonna have a lot of experiences as well for them to understand the issues of homelessness and hunger in the city. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of water and how it nourishes our body and cools us what a simple way to show kindness by giving somebody a nice, cool drink. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to have eyes to see and hearts that are open to be welcoming and loving and kind to those around us. And help us to remember it doesn't have to be big acts, but it can just be the simple kindness of a smile, some water, a listening ear. Help us to always be attentive to your spirit, urging us to welcome others. In Jesus' name, and all God's children said, amen. amen. Now, if you want to finish your water, you can, or you can pour it back in there. Yes, you can have seconds. Oh, one, one more thing. Bef Whoa, there's water. Be careful. <laughs> uh, I want you to have one of these coloring sheets of our little cup of cool water, and while Pastor Jenna gets to do a sermon more about that, you guys can color these, and I want to put up any of them that you color, all right? So if you color this, then you can bring it back. You can put the empty cups in my bag. All right. So I'm doing things a little different today, and if 